So today's video, we're actually shooting on my phone because Danielle wanted to go up for breakfast. <laughs> and somehow it's her fault, but. So we're uh, downtown in a taxi stand because it broke. Fuel pump crapped out, which I thought I fixed by doing nothing to start working again. So anyways, Murr's coming to rescue us. And then we're gonna go home, get a bunch of tools, have another fuel pump because I ordered one thinking I'll fix it. And when I went to go fix it, it started working again. So I didn't fix it or didn't change it. We're in a no parking spot. Nice area though. Well, see when Murr gets here. All right, so Murr's rescued us. So it's like we're in high school and your dad's picking us up from our date. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly like that. Because in high school, we probably did do that with a broken down car. <laughs> Some things never change in 20 years. All right, we'll be home shortly and we'll be switching to the GoPro. Okay, back on the GoPro. Got a few tools. So we're gonna head out. Good times. Oh, we're getting a bunch of concrete work done. We can show that real quick. Look at all this. Retaining wall going in tomorrow. Concrete pad happening. See? That's why we can't afford to tow home. So go to concrete. Well, let's get back to that junker. Man, that is a nice car though. In the sun with the cool buildings behind it. So, I don't really want to work this thing on the road. So I hate working on the side of the road. That's probably too sweet. So instead, Uncle Tony's going to save us yet again. We're just going to go ahead and fill up the carburetor. And we'll move lickety split. One carburetor's worth of fuel. Whatever this is. A couple hundred mils. Now you know me, always working hard. Medium effort. Maximum failure. I really thought I was just gonna jam a jerry can into the in the cowl there and done with it. It's not the case. Man, this one hand working is tough to act. You want me to hold it up for you? Nope, I got her. Oh. Are you going to leave the bottle there? It's worse than laughing, it'll set fire. Yes. Okay. Gotta have this thing timed out. And maybe wait till the light changes again. pump it's dripping out a little bit now I got a vice grip kind of clamping it off I could hear the pump or feel the pump running so obviously we got a bad fuel pump 
which I kind of knew, but was in denial. It stopped working a while ago and then just miraculously started working. I was going to change it and uh, well, this is lesson learned right here. Change it at home in the garage next time. All right, peel this apart. Well, I have these, the finest Amazon fuel pumps. So we'll go ahead and jam them together. I got one that was low pressure, and this was a high pressure, so it's like five to seven. Yes, I hope. So we'll slam, uh, I guess I should probably put a filter on these first. Slam this sucker together. Slide under, couple of zap straps. Should be mint. Our new little mini jerry can. <laughs> yeah, we got a jerry can just to have, because this doesn't work. And obviously it's gonna be a problem in the tank. It's lost suction or something like that. So I'll just jam one of those jerry cans under the hood and run a hose with one of these right to the carburetor you got at home. But I have a lot of confidence this will work. All right, so we got a new pump on. I actually just took the vice grip off. We'll see if it'll pump some fuel. Wonder if we have a problem in the tank. This one is doing nothing. So maybe we didn't have a bad fuel pump, we had a bad pickup or something. Well, I'll see if maybe there's a, a loose line that's sucking air, but it's fuel in the tank. Junk. Uh, so it turns out I was just tracing some uh, the fuel lines, see if I had a vac or a leak, and I was looking back, I'm like, hmm, that's weird. And I had the fuel pump going the wrong way so hard to blame the car when I'm the idiot so we'll go ahead and connect this the right way and try it again who would have thought eh try to pump air into the tank all right you want to hit the key again please yeah. just come on yeah just on Okay, off. Oh, Look at that, fixed the problem all they had to do. Put the pump the right way. So I'll clamp this back together. A few uh, zip ties and we'll hit the road. Okay, so test under the hood here. See what we got going on. I'm confident. Yeah, on. Okay, off. Well, I think that was the problem. Turns out fuel in the carburetor is an important one. So I'll tighten this one little uh, hose clamp up. Let it run, see what happens. Feel lucky? Well. Play it out for a little bit, make sure it's all good, but I think we fixed it. And do it in the middle of downtown with a bunch of home field walking around was just like a little bit of extra fun. They all gave you a lot of thumbs up. There, everyone's impressed, yeah, I gotta say. Man, happy Labor Day, right? These are the reasons we stay home and work on hot rods. <laughs> And don't come into the big city. <laughs> Look at this. But breakfast was delicious. We did find a nice gravel parking lot to work on though, so that did feel like home. All right. Well, we have our uh, reserve vehicle of tires or uh, tools, so let's see if we make her home. All right, let's see how this goes. test.
made her all the way home. So I don't know, 20 minutes, half hour drive. Look at that, in the driveway. So, a bit of an impromptu video, weren't planning on doing this. Actually plan on taking the day off, doing a whole lot of nothing, because it's Labor Day, which I hope you guys are doing as well. So, but that being said, I'm gonna go in, edit this video, put it out there, and uh, if you wanna own a bunch of these hot rods, I know it always sounds fun, this is what you gotta deal with. That's hot rodding. Well, see you guys in a couple days with a new video.